Hello everyone and welcome to the Beauty Zone. I'm Felicia. Today I'm going to feature a full cap wig and I know it's been a long time since I've done a tutorial on a full cap wig but I have a couple of wigs that I bought in the spring that I didn't feature or show you guys so I thought I would bring those to you today. Um, even though I'm in a weave right now I still was able to put my wig cap on top of my weave and I actually have two wig caps on and I have the clips on the side to hold um, the cap in place. This wig is by Club Girl and it's uh, by It's a Wig and it's by their Club Girl collection. It's under $30 and the name of the wig is called Feather Ann. Feather Ann and I have a 1B33. She's a really cute short pixie cut with what they call feathers or you can also call those layers as well and she's really really cute like I said I bought her in the spring and put her up and never did wear her and I know there are a lot of ladies who um, are still wearing wigs even during the summer months and I know I used to before I started wearing um, the weave so it's always a great thing to have options I hope everyone is having a great day let's take a look at the inside of the cap we have our standard cap construction vented in the back and just our regular lace part for the cap in the front it's a wig has only one comb and that's in the back as far as security and then we have our adjustable straps that we can use to secure the wig right here. In the front though, no combs. However, you know that you can always sew the combs in. You can purchase combs at your local beauty supply store and they are normally around a dollar. Okay, so I've gone on and adjusted my strap and again I normally don't pay any more than like under 30 for a wig now even though that said $31.99 I get 30% off where I go to purchase wigs now she's gonna be a little tidy because again I have a weave on and so it's a miracle that I'm even able to get this wig on seeing that I have the tracks sewn in and have a weave but the hair that I'm wearing now the Indian hair is fairly light so it's not so thick and bulky alright I'm going to secure the comb in the back and of course I will have to apply some bobby pins to secure her on the sides and it would have been nice had they put a um, sewn a couple of combs in the front but again that's an easy fix for you to do I'm going to use some bobby pins in order to secure her and I'm going to push this camera back just a little bit because I see my head is chopped off just a bit okay so I'm going to attach the bobby pins to the side We got to make sure that we don't see those bobby pins because this is a shorter wig. I might need to use my shorter bobby pins. You know, it's been a while since I've worn a full cap wig, so sometimes I have to get back into the groove. So I'm going to use, try my little shorter bobby pins, and you can pick those up from Sally's or even, um, I think I picked these up from Walmart. Because we just want just a little security in the front just a little do the same thing for the side and you know what this one is going to have to be cocked just a little bit to the side because I have to match up my tabs right here Oh, lost a bobby pin that fell on the floor. Okay. Okay. 
okay now if the sides are too long for you you can always cut you can always cut your wig to your liking and just looking for my styling utensils and normally what I do is I just take an old toothbrush for the sides and I just kind of move them in place the way that I want them to be again feather and has a lot of layers in it short pixie cut with layers I also will use my comb it's kind of a wide tooth with kind of pointed edges and I like this comb because it gives me texture so it's not just me just combing the hair but it also gives it some texture so if you can see as I'm combing it just gives it a little bit of texture and this wig is a cutie cutie patootie and it's just so simple and that's what I love I love simple and I love cute let's see also you can use your rake comb right here and that will also give you a little texture so sometimes I'll just use a multiple of styling tools until I get the desired look And again, this is a 1B33. I don't think I like the comb better. I think the comb gave it the most texture look. Okay, so as you can see, you could like literally play with this all day because there's so many different ways that you can have the layers going, you know, so many different directions you can have them going. Um, it's a tad bit short right here and that's where my own natural sideburns are, but you know, you can work around that. It's just really, really, really cute. Really, really cute style. And again, for under $30. Okay. All right. And turn around towards the back. And again, just that cropped look. She is really, really styling here. I think she's really, really cute. Really cute. Okay, guys, that is going to do it. Again, this is the Club Girl Collection by It's a Wig. Feather Ann is her name, and it is a P, one P, excuse me, <laughs> a P as in piano, one B as in boy, 33. There we go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you real, real soon, okay? Check me out now on the Beauty Zone. Come back very, very often because I will be up doing or uploading more videos. So take care, everybody, and see you real, real soon. Bye-bye.